we're still in the business of feeling good here on Expresso because it is your feel-good breakfast show after all. You're still on S3 and honestly, my friend, this morning is just so beautiful because we are talking about inspiring stories. We heard about how APSA is doing the things that need to be done in terms of elevating the townships in and around South Africa with the art scene that is going places, my lovely, because of APSA and eight incredible artists who have come out and said, look, I want to be a part of this. So what exactly am I talking about? I mean, they're wall mural campaign. It is so beautiful to see how many we are seeing all around South Africa, 156 to be exact. And this morning, we actually get to be joined by two of the visual artists that are part of this incredible campaign. Everybody, please put your hands together for Pebo Fato and Malibu. <laughs> hello, hello, guys. Hello, hello. Good and you. I'm good, thank you. How does it feel to be this talented? Hmm? Mm. <laughs> mm. At times... It's nice, but it's scary. Nice. It's okay. Yeah. okay, I get it. It, it has, can be scary. Yeah, it has its own challenges. <laughs> oh, that's fine. My babes, we are glad that you're sharing your art with us. That's what we are happy for. But guys, let's dive into this. Because honestly and truly, I feel like this is such a great thing that you are partnering with an entire APSA. And an entire APSA is partnering with you. An because, entire one. Uh, yes, entire <laughs> you as well. <laughs> let's talk about the fact that, you know, your installations are up in South Africa. Let's speak about yours first, Malibu. Okay, my installation is an illustration mm -hmm. it's based on a painting i decided to use three colors mm -hmm. because each color has a meaning so yes. it's black white and red yeah so black is, is for strength red is for emotions mm -hmm. and white is it's for innocence I and yes but the reason why i did this it's based on my personal journey sure. from my childhood until to this day so breaking away from all the norms and mm. having to become a successful art artist, yeah. I'd say. That's so, beautiful. Yeah. Oh, Pebo what about you? Tell us about your installation. Uh, well, for me, I think it's um, a lot more kind of uh, more conceptual than mm -hmm. that. Um, you know, like my artwork is really um, is actually just an electrical circuit. Okay. Um, but the idea is to actually um, show that, you know, like people, ideas and everyone is really just connected to the uh, you know to the world and to the uh, yeah like to the world at large <laughs> yes we're all connected and it's, yeah. it's very very true, true which is why we're able to connect through your guys's art so shout out to you Thank but you. i want to come back to you Malibu, because of course we know that apps is telling us your story matters so let's speak about your story what is your story when it comes to this specific artwork you kind of touched on it a little bit now now but go deeper my love we want to hear about okay. the story <laughs> Mine is very personal, mm. honestly. It's from failure to success. Sure. So it's based on my past, my present and future. Mm. So the reason, if you can see, I'm just trying to uh, like encourage people to understand that everybody goes through pain. Mm. So it's okay to make mistake and allow to make mistake. But if you a desire to do something and yeah. you're very confident of what it is you need to do, so you get there and do what it is needed of you. So what happened on my past, hence I have failure, you will see that I did all these sports. Yeah. So I had an incident which was very painful. Mm -hmm. I remember 2008, I was told that amongst 146 students, only 145 passed. And I'm that one individual that did that pass. Oh, man. So that broke me. That, that gave me like depression and all that. Mm. I wasn't coping, but I thought, how is it possible that they saying that I failed, but I got a bursary to study engineering? Look at that. So it was very confusing. So I got into a sports academy program with the Impala Platinum. Mm. So everything kept on working well. I went and rewrote but did my supplementary and all that, but they still told me, like, uh, there's no change in everything. But now look at you today, Malibu. But look at me now. And so, this is the yes. thing. That's so, such a beautiful story. So you can imagine from working underground for four years mm. and deciding to go back to school and study art. That's incredible. So, look, yeah. oh. And I was called the 2022 Jared Sikota Award winner. That's so, right. As a black female yes. and being the black class artist to ever win within this Jared Sikota Prize. It's that thing as an upset a lot of year, I managed to tell myself, you know what? Okay, you're breaking through the norms. You're strong. You're a strong black woman. And, and you're you out it. here to, 
like challenge yourself and inspire others and inspire others that's exactly what i was about yes. to say thank you very much oprah thank it was you. so lovely <laughs> to hear from you uh, <laughs> now so uh, we want to hear your story very quickly uh, but uh, yeah. we want to hear it right now yes well like how can i top uh top oprah over here okay, uh, so, <laughs> then i'll give you 30 seconds to tell us what it is that it matters in terms of your story and this mm. mural perfect mm. Um, well, so I think starting off, um, I always wanted to be an artist. Yeah. I don't think that there was any other way. Yeah. Um, but I couldn't really see, you know, a pathway to being an artist, really. Until university, I actually um, began to actually go to the Absa Atelier Awards. Yeah. And, you know, to the gallery and their shows. And I actually could see a path, you know. Mm. And then, like... I could see how other artists are charting their own path. Yes. And then I thought that that was great. That, that really speaks to exactly what you guys are doing right now. Because yeah. your murals being up, there's young kids who are looking at you and looking at what you do and being yeah. like, yes, I yes. want to do that. Yeah. So yeah. thank you for that, guys. This is why your story matters. 100%. 100%. These are two artists who have partnered with Absa all in the name of their incredible wall mural campaign. My lovely, they are up in all the townships that you can find in terms of Absa and the incredible campaign 156 of them actually and these two have got their murals up there it's so incredible don't forget from the 25th of march all the way until the 30th of june for now we've got our family standing by in cape teasy hi my graham and my zoe